In this video, we'll be discussing the problem mirror tree. So let's read the problem statement and understand what the problem says here. Problem basically says that we'll be given a binary tree and we have to convert it into its mirror tree. So basically, suppose that we have got one, then the left child of one is three, then we have got the right child as two then with respect to two the left child is uh, five and the right child is four so what we need to do is we need to apply a mirror and when you apply a mirror or you uh, will convert the given tree into its mirror tree then the connections will become opposite so basically the left child will look like the right child and the right child will look like the left child and this will happen uh, for all the nodes so for every node the left is going to look like the uh, right child and the right child is going to look like the left child if you apply mirror tree concept okay so how can we solve this particular problem so basically for each and every node what we need to do is we need to we need to swap okay the main concept the fundamental concept is that for each and every node that we are at we need to swap the uh, left and the right connection okay so basically for whatever node we are at uh, we will swap the left and the right if we are at a particular node so what you do is with respect to that node you make the uh, left child as the right child and the right child as the left child and you keep on doing this for the whole tree so you keep on iterating throughout the tree by going on the uh, by going on the left and the right and then you keep on uh, doing this thing for every node for every node swap the left child and the right child that's it okay how can uh, we do this so basically suppose that uh, initially when we start off so we have got one three two five four okay this is the tree that we have now what we will do is firstly we are at one if i'm at one so i'll swap i will basically do what i'll basically swap uh, i'll basically swap the left and the right child so basically what will happen is with respect to one the left child will be two and along with two all the nodes will also come along so that's not a problem okay and the right child will be what right child will be three so first swap is what i've done now after that like once i have done the swap for this particular node then i'll uh, i'll do what i'll move on the left and the right both so once i've swapped this particular node here then i'll go on the left when i go on the left uh, so basically once I have swapped this thing, uh, so what will happen? Once I have swapped for one, then I'll go on the left. When I go on the left, I'll get this particular node two. Now with respect to this particular node two, I'll swap the left and the right both. So when I swap the left and the right both, then what will happen is uh, now basically these two nodes are going to get swapped. So in the next iteration, what you can see is that you'll have one, then you have got two, then you have got three here, then you have got what? You have got four and then five here. So this is what you have got. Now after that, what will happen is uh, like you were at two and you did your job with respect to two you swap the left and the right child now you go to the left of two as well because you went down here now you go to the left of two when you go to four you uh, swap its left and right both are null so no impact will be there then you'll go back up then you'll call on the right also when you'll call on the right so with respect to five uh, the left and right child are null so even after swapping no impact would be seen so you'll go back up now from here also you go, you go back up now you call on the right child also when you call on the right what happens uh, basically uh, you have three and with respect to three when you swap the left and the right child both are null so nothing will impact then you go back up now after that finally if you'll observe so the tree is what the tree is one then you have got two then you have got what you have got three and then you have got four and then you have got five so whatever original tree was given we have basically uh, created the mirror of it because if you'll see what is the answer you have got one two three then four five so this is the final answer from this tree the mirror tree looks like this compared to the original tree so the main concept is that you keep on traversing through each and every node by going on the left and right you keep on traversing the whole tree but before that whichever node you are at you swap the left and the right child for it okay and also if you reach a null node you can return away from there directly so let's try and code this up uh, so that we can uh, implement this okay so yeah let's say we have been given the root here so what we will do is like uh, we will check that if the current uh, node that we are at if it is null suppose the current node that we are at if it is null in that case what we need to do is we need to simply return away from here otherwise guys what we need to do is we need to basically swap the uh, current uh, roots left with the current roots right so we'll swap the left and the right child okay so as i mentioned earlier with respect to one if i had the left child as three and the uh, and the right child as two so I've swapped them. So after swapping, you can see that two will come along with the subtree of it as well. And three would go on the right. Okay. Two would, co two would come on the left. So this will happen for every node. Okay. And once, uh, once this particular swapping for the node has been done, then I need to move on the left and right both. So I'll call the mirror function. Okay. For what? I'll call the mirror function. You can say for the root left. 
okay then after that i'll call the mirror function for the root right basically i'll be traversing throughout the tree and for each and every node i'll make sure that the swapping of the left and the right child are done okay once this is done we can try to run it so let's try and compile this code to check if it is working fine on the sample test cases or not it's working fine let us submit this code and see if it is getting accepted okay so you can see that the code is getting accepted here and it is passing all the test cases talking about the time and the space complexity for our code so basically the time complexity for my code would be order of n because in the worst case what are we doing we are iterating through all the n nodes so the time complexity would be order of n now what is the space complexity space complexity would be order of n because of the recursive stack space because in case if the tree is skewed in nature skewed means that if the tree is only in one dimension like uh, it is tilted towards the right completely or towards the left completely then in that case uh, the recursion calls will take order of n stack space so that is why the order of n space complexity is, uh, is due to the recursion stack space that we are going to pay for okay so i hope you have understood this question clearly and if you'll observe here as well this question previously has been asked in companies like paytm morgan stanley amazon microsoft and many others right so hopefully i've solved this and if you have any doubts you can mention them in the comments if you understood you can uh, mention understood also thank you for watching this video guys